so now we're going to continue our review for the uh, Unit 4 lecture exam in Introduction to Astronomy. And we want to talk about how do galaxies initially form. And we think that this is because of the collision of globular clusters. So after the Big Bang, the first stars to form would have been these globular clusters, these population uh, two type stars. And then, just in the same way that our solar system formed with debris that was orbiting like this and debris that was orbiting like this, as they started to collide, they ended up making debris that was orbiting like this. So similarly, these globular clusters began to collide and this, we think that this is how a galaxy forms. Okay, you should know the different shapes of galaxies. So our galaxy is a spiral galaxy, but then you ought to know about elliptical galaxies, and a spherical galaxy is a special case of the elliptical one. In the same way, you can have a circular orbit, but that orbit could be stretched out into an ellipse, you could have a spherical galaxy, but it could be stretched out into an elliptical galaxy. And then you have irregular galaxies, and then you have peculiar galaxies. So if I was to show you a picture on the uh, exam of one of those things, and then ask you, tell me what kind of galaxy is that, then you ought to be able to tell me. So why do galaxies have different shapes? So the first one is because of spin, or you could say it's because of its angular momentum. So that if you have a, uh, a, a gigantic uh, uh, galaxy that is spinning very slowly, then as it collapses, it is going to spin faster but it will tend to form more of a spherical galaxy. If, on the other hand, it is spinning fast to begin with, then as it collapses, it's going to spin faster, and it could flatten into a disk the same way that a solar system does. Okay, then you have this idea of density. So this gets into the idea of thermal gas pressure, which is a bad thing. So we found out that with stars, if an uh, initial gas cloud has a lot of thermal gas pressure, which pushes outwards, that will keep it from collapsing. So similarly, if you've got a galaxy that has a lot of thermal gas pressure, that will uh, make it uh, collapse slower. But one way of getting it to collapse faster is if it's a higher density. So if a, if a galaxy is higher density, that means it can conduct heat faster, which means it's not as hot on the inside, which means it has less thermal gas pressure, which means it collapses faster. And so stars will form, and then they will have a chance to uh, land on the... Uh, the disk, and so you'll have a, uh, a spiral uh, galaxy. If, on the other hand, 